Good morning all of my beautiful little faces out there that like to spend time with me because you're all so crazy. How are you? It's Monday. It's time for another episode of Monday Coffee with this girl right here. I'm very pink today. Can you see that? Like my hair is pink, my lips are pink, my eyeshadows kind of love, which is kind of in the pink family. If you think about it. Um, so this week we're going to be talking about letting it go and kind of just getting a lot of unneeded gross energy off of us and also we're going to talk about practicing what we preach because I feel like that's a really important thing that everybody whether you're preaching one thing or the next whatever you're preaching you, you definitely need to, to practice it. You need to be able to stand behind it, right? Because if you don't, then how is anybody going to be able to take what you say seriously? You know what I mean? So we're going to talk about that uh, this week on Monday Coffee with the Doll. I have my, I have my coffee right here. I just think that's a funny word. It cracks me up saying it. Coffee, anima, coffee. So much ridiculousness. You know what I'm saying? So you guys get your cup of joe. I'm going to um, reheat my cup of joe and then we're gonna meet back here. Okay, okay, that's great. My Keurig makes the hottest coffee, y'all. It does not play at all. No, no. And I'm that type of person that when, when something is supposed to be hot, it's like it has to burn my mouth. It has to be like liquid Mordor in my mouth. Or I put it back in the microwave and nuke it a little bit longer. You know what I mean? I can't stand it when things are just warm. Just warm. It's just a little warm. No. No. Lava. I need it to be lava or I'm not happy. And my Keurig... I'm telling you, I might as well be Frodo Baggins every day, just jumping on in some more door. It's amazing. It's a wonderful. Yeah. So it's Monday. It's time for another episode of Monday Coffee with the Doll. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. I don't know why you guys keep coming. It's just crazy shenanigans all the time. Surely you have something better to be doing. But I love that you're here. I love that you want to spend time with me because I think that we're, we make a great team, you know? We make a great team. We work together well. So this week we're going to be talking about letting it go and practicing what you preach because I think those are two really good topics um, to talk on right now. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to just get on, get on into it. We're just going to dive on in. So put on your seatbelts because it's about to get crazy. <laughs> now this week has been, I mean, it's, it hasn't been a bad week. It's been a very busy week. I'm trying to balance out a whole bunch of new projects along with projects that I'm already doing. And it can be, it can get crazy. You know, I'm, I'm trying to balance, I'm trying to get all these things done um, while keeping up with all of the other commitments that, you know, I am already doing. So it's been, it's been a journey. But something that I've really been trying to focus on, um, is to really just let go of negative forces in my life. Whatever it is, whatever type of negative juju it's spitting out, I, I'm just like, no, we're done with you. We're done. We're done with you now. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. I feel like tour guide Barbie. Um, it's really helped in the long run of everything that I'm trying to change in my life and all of the things that I'm striving for. The best thing that I've done is I've learned to let things go. You know, whether it be my personal life or my, my work life, um, I'm letting anything that has taken up my time from doing things that bring me joy with worry or stress or anxiety or whatever emotion it brings instead. And I'm just like, no, we're not gonna do this. This is not a positive emotion. We're just going to 
push it out. And it's been hard. It's definitely been a challenge. You know, it's easy to initially get riled up about something or let something upset you or something someone says get to you. And it's really, really hard <laughs> not um, just going with your first reaction. And usually that first reaction is you know, getting your guard up and defending yourself and trying to reason with whatever the situation is. And all that is, is negative emotions that you are wasting your time on that you could be putting into something more positive, like a project you're working on or... I don't know, something that can get you that promotion at work or something that takes your YouTube channel to the next level or, um, you know, whatever it is that you're focusing on, you're losing valuable time. You could be dedicating to that, harping on so many negative emotions. And if you were really to just kind of sit down and think about it and think about what that situation is, for the most part, things like that really aren't too life-threatening that if you were to just slough it off, it wouldn't be a big life-altering thing. Like, you're just like, this doesn't matter. Why am I even paying attention to this? And, you know, I think a good, a good point would be things like when you face people that are judging you for who you are or how you look or they're shaming you for your image or your body or your personality or whatever they're trying to say. Well, she's, she's to this or she's to that or he's not this enough or he's not that enough or you need to change here. Or, you know, we spend so much time doting on all of these, you know, things that are put out from other people and pushed on to us that it wastes so much of our time. And the more negative crap that you just keep kind of filling all that empty space with, you're losing all your passions and your happiness and your joy. And that happened a lot to me um, over the past few years with my pinup work. I started losing my passion for it because I allowed so much of the negative crap to just drown the whole reason I was doing it to begin with. And you kind of start losing sight of the important things and you kind of start losing touch with you know, a lot of parts of yourself. And I started losing touch with a lot of my favorite things about me. Um, and I had to get to the point where I was just like, it doesn't matter, let it go. Like, let go of what anybody else has to say, what anybody else thinks. Let go of, you know, all of these bars that you're trying to hold yourself to instead of just figuring out what works for you best. You know, just let all that crap go. And it definitely was a big change in everything that I, I was doing in my life, whether it be personal or for my blogs or things like that. And by kind of kicking out all of that negative bull, <laughs> I'm trying to be a family friendly show here, folks. Um, it really opened up a lot more room for me to start dedicating to more important things. And I'm starting to, to really get a feel for the directions that I'm going in. And removing all of that was just this huge weight off my shoulders. And it's like, why was I worried about that? I mean, really, really, why was I worried about that? Someone didn't like me. Someone thought I was something that I wasn't or said something that I didn't say or, I mean, but does it really matter? Does it really matter what their opinion of that is? Does it really matter if they think that or not? No, it doesn't matter. Would it be nice if they were like, hey, I'm sorry I was this to you, or hey, you know, you don't have to change for anyone, just be happy. Like, it would be great if they would just change their demeanor, sure, but we can't wait around for people to treat us the way that we deserve. We have to demand to be treated that way, and then if they don't play along, you can go play over there. You can go, you can go play for that team, or you could go play with those people over there that share that idea that you have. I 
don't share that idea or that action or that belief or whatever it is. And I choose not to allow your negative ninniness to affect me. So take your ball and go home and leave it at that. Don't devote any more of your time and your energy. Just let it go. Just bye. 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 Doesn't matter. <laughs> mm -mm. Doesn't matter. Have you seen my cup? You see my cup? It's from my friends at Forever Above Me Clothing. They are a big brand developed on people representing their personal style and what in life has influenced that style to be born. And I'm, I'm a big supporter in that. I think that there's a lot of things that influence us into the people that we are. And I think that some people think that it's, you have to only be one thing or you're a poser or you have to like be this poster child for whatever style it is you represent. And if you falter at all, then you know, that's not, you're not legit. Um, but that's not how I see it. I think that there's a lot of different things that influence my style and make me who I am. And all of those things are amazing. And, uh, these people back that up, so how can you not, how can you not love that? You know what I mean? So I started thinking about a lot of the stuff that I see in my newsfeed that kind of sparks these weird emotions that kind of bring up ideas that I used to have on things and then I've come such a long way that now I have this different opinion on them. And I can kind of look at both of the opinions that I've had and and respect both of them and see how I've evolved and changed as a human and how I'm growing and, and things like that. Um, and one of the things that I've definitely had to improve on in my life is practicing what I preach. You know, um, I had to check myself because I'm a big you know, voice for body and self-love, and um, I'm constantly talking and sharing um, how I deal with anxiety and depression. I've talked about um, past abusive relationships. You know, I'm very open with my life and, you know, my opinions on the situations that I've gone through and how I've coped and sharing them with all of you guys. And in doing so, sometimes the feedback that you can get from online can be really negative and you kind of start taking everything on as negative and it can be really overwhelming and so you kind of just turn into this, well, I'm going to put out all this positive message because that's what I believe, but I myself am not walking that whole positive path and I needed to check myself and it's like you have to hold yourself to those standards too. You have to remember that you believe this because this is who you are and you can't let other people weigh you down and control that. You have to keep control of that. And sometimes it can be hard when you put yourself out there to an entire world to judge you. Um, but I'm definitely doing much better with it now. You know, I started falling into ruts about my body and being super self-conscious. Um, last summer, I was the heaviest I've ever been. Um, I was a size six and I felt healthy and amazing. And now here I am the very next summer and I'm back down to a double zero. And it's it's like people comment on, well, you're, you're just, are you losing weight? You're so skinny again, what's going on? And, you know, I'm like, I know, I'm trying to embrace all these things that my body's doing and it's all over the place and nothing fits the way it did. And now we're going back through this whole jean buying thing again and you're pinning all your dresses and it's hard enough on me and people commenting can sometimes really st start taking that positive outlook that you've worked so hard to build and sometimes it can take its toll and you kind of go in reverse and I've had to check myself several times um, that I am the words that I share that that's me that I'm sharing with you guys and even though sometimes people start to pull that wool back over my eyes of, of what society says does it mean it's true and you gotta gotta fight your way through it and I see um you know I see a lot of people that struggle with that I see a lot of it in the female 
um, empowerment movement, you know, you have a lot of girls that want to be that voice, you know, they, and I, I think that they genuinely do want to be a positive voice, but it's hard. It's really, really hard. And I think a lot of them stumble, and then when they stumble, they don't want to hold themselves accountable because maybe they, you know, are embarrassed because, oh, well, they made a mistake, you know, and the best thing you can do is be like, my bad, oh my gosh, you know, reevaluate what you said, and if it was something that you didn't mean or it was shitty, acknowledge that it was shitty and apologize for it, you know what I mean? Um, I definitely apologize to people before when a girl will comment on something and I'll take it really negatively and I'll clap back at her and I'll be super snippy and then I'm like, you know what, I'm sorry, that came out like a total asshole, I apologize, I've done it. And I think it's important that you just acknowledge it and um, apologize and then do better next time. But I think a lot of girls you know, they like the way that platform makes them look and they like to, you know, say, I'm against, you know, bullying or I'm against girls being catty and mean to each other. And then they share a post that is mocking or making fun of another girl, but because it was just something random they found online, it's okay. Well, it's basically the same thing. That girl is somebody. You know, that girl has emotions and feelings and she's got her own probably body issues that she struggles with every day. And for you to share it being like, oh my gosh, look at this girl. I died when I saw her face. Weren't you just posting the other day about how some girl came onto your post that didn't even know you and was saying bad things about you and you were offended? How is that any different? A troll is a troll, right? So I think that that's kind of the things that we need to check ourselves in. Check your behavior, and if your behavior is gross and ugly, change it, you know? And I think that's hard for people to do. They'd rather have all their friends jump on board and make excuses for their behavior and tell them how they have every right to feel that way. And it's like, no, bullying is bullying. But a lot of people are quick to point the fingers, but then they don't want to actually change their attitude. So, oh well, it's gross. It's not cute. It's not how we um, glitter babes do things. And by the way, have you guys heard about the absolutely amazing glitter beauty brand I'm designing with Trigger Happy Cosmetics? Girls, boys, all my unicorns out there, yes, I am helping design a glitter beauty line with Trigger Happy Cosmetics. It's called Glitter Babes by Miss Emily Doll. That's me. Um, it's going to be 100% cruelty free, biodegradable glitter products, sunscreen, glosses, body gels, beautiful things that make you glow out in the sun like a cullen without hurting our environment or our animal friends. It's also going to be vegan friendly. Woo woo! You know, I got you, my vegan babes. So it's going to be amazing. I'm going to put the link down in the bottom of the description. So you can check it out because we pre-launched mm, get it while you can I think in closing what I can say is that the more you change your heart and the more you work to improve yourself it kind of starts opening up your eyes to the way people are and how you know we really are all the same some of us just don't want to acknowledge our behaviors and I think that if we start acknowledging our behaviors then we can really start helping people see theirs you know um, it's kind of like this pot calling the kettle black thing if you haven't heard that you're probably not old enough to be watching my videos to be honest <laughs> but yes so um, remember that these are the days that fill your week you're in control of making them amazing, and you can also help others make theirs amazing too. So, 
Um, if you guys like this cup, you can hit up my friends um, Forever Above Me Clothing because I hear that they can help you get one. If you want to have a positive Emily doll mug, you can get that now. So, um, also remember that if you or anybody you know is looking for a friendly ear to listen and to help love and support them through whatever they are going through, um, you guys can check out this amazing online and affordable therapy that you can download on your phones and you can talk to a licensed therapist about anything that you need, even through text, which is awesome, so you don't have to leave your bed if you don't want to, and I'm that kind of person, so you can check out BetterHelp um, at this link below. Remember that I love you guys and I'm always happy to start my week with your beautiful faces, so until next time, I am Emily Doll. This was Monday Coffee with the Doll. I love your faces. What else is there?